The International Vaccine Institute is the only international organization whose mission is to discover, develop, and deliver safe, effective, and affordable vaccines for global health. For infectious diseases that are found primarily in low- and middle-income countries, there isn't necessarily an incentive for a for-profit, high-income country pharmaceutical manufacturer to manufacture a vaccine. IVI fills a critical gap in the global vaccine landscape. IVI is really the only international organization that develops vaccines, that tests these vaccines, that helps low and middle income country vaccine manufacturers manufacture the vaccines, and then works with organizations like Gavi or the WHO to get the vaccine recommended and approved for purchase by different United Nations agencies. So IVI works along the vaccine value chain from end to end the only step that we don't do ourselves is manufacturing. When IVI uses the term amplify the core, it means that we need to become bigger and better at the discovery, development, and delivery of vaccines for global health. We have to be able to take opportunistic actions. IVI uh, oral cholera vaccine already more than 90% of global uh, oral cholera vaccine. Uh, recently, the shortage was very serious. So we developed uh, simplified a new vaccine so we can uh, dramatically increase the production. Our second vaccine was just pre-qualified, a typhoid conjugate vaccine. We tech transfer this vaccine to companies. That means soon this vaccine will be available globally. We not just transfer our technology, we also train. Capacity building work distributes the capacity of vaccine development and manufacturing to other regions of the world. IVI actually does many training and capacity building activities, one of which is the International Vaccinology Course. Three different groups, cohorts of participants, one in Asia, in Seoul, one in Europe, in Stockholm, and one in Africa and subcontinent, Kigali, together are being trained how to understand vaccines, create vaccines, and get vaccines to people. In 2014, I was one of the scholarship uh, recipients. I came as a laboratory scientist. That passion for vaccines that I learned at IVI has carried me all the way till now. IVI has uh, 42 member countries and WHO is based in Seoul, the Republic of Korea, as a headquarters. The Europe Regional Office was opened in 2022 with funding and support from the Swedish government. The funding allowed IVI to partially become a funder of activities, so we could now work on vaccines that we think are important during the pandemic. There was a lot of pledged funding for African vaccine manufacturing. The goal should be sustainable manufacturing. And so IVIs create an office in Africa whose goal it will be to support the development of the vaccine research and development ecosystem to support sustainable manufacturing and make it possible. The IVI is closely working in Kenya uh, with the Biovax Institute to enable the AVEC Africa project in order to enable the end-to-end -end, uh, development of vaccines. And the Institute looks not just at Kenya as the marketplace, it's also the East African community, the East African region, in order to satisfy the need for uh, vaccine safety and vaccine uh, sustainability. By making safe, effective, high-quality vaccines affordable, we will make these same vaccines equitably accessible across the world. Because we work on neglected tropical diseases or poverty-associated infectious diseases, equity and access underlie all of our work. The countries where diseases exist should be at the table in all the discussions around the development, testing, and use of those vaccines. We added non-funding members to the IVI Board of Trustees, which we had never done before, and we also created the Global Council. The Global Council consists of all the member countries of, of IVI, and their role is to provide significant advice to the Board of Trustees of IVI around what's important to the individual countries. It could be that they want different vaccines, or they want IVI to focus on technology transfer. Different countries have different interests and country members of IVI are a significant stakeholder group. No major company is working on a vaccine for group A streptococcus. 
No major company is working on a vaccine for invasive non-typhoidal salmonella. There's a tremendous amount of work that needs to be done on vaccines that we know will prevent hundreds of thousands of deaths, but for which we do not have the funding to develop the vaccine or the manufacturers who are willing to take those vaccines to WHO pre-qualification and then develop the WHO recommendations for use. IVI is really the only international organization that develops these vaccines.